What's up everybody, Shenanigans here. Today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Beats Fit Pro by Apple. I'll be putting timestamps on the scroller, so if you wanna skip through certain points of the video, feel free. I'll be going over what comes in the box, how to set them up, going over specific features of these headphones, the design, I'm gonna go over colorways, pricing, and at the end, I'll give my opinion on who these are best suited for and positives and negatives of these headphones. So let's get down to business. Here you can see the packaging. It's pretty minimal. It says sweat and water resistant earbuds. Showing a little picture of them with the case open and it says it has active noise canceling and transparency mode. It's comfortable, secure fit wingtips. Let's open it up. It just drops down like that. And you have this separate little box that pulls up. Here's your case with the earbuds in them. It says to pair, keep your earbuds in case with lid open. Pop that off, you'll get a very small USB type C cable. You're gonna get a couple extra sizes of ear tips and setup guide, all the other safety, handling, all that stuff. Get that out of here. All right, so let's get into how would you set these up with your device. For this example, I have an iPhone. Pretty much the same for an Android. You're just gonna be missing out on some of the animations and it is a little bit easier because the iPhone will normally detect the headphones pretty much as soon as you open them up. Let's give it a try. So turn on your phone. Go to Bluetooth settings, and for this purpose, my headphone case was dead, so I have it on the charger, but it's not necessary. Open them up, and as soon as you open them up, it'll actually pop up. Now, if you're on an Android device, you're gonna have to press and hold that little button right there on the case. And you hold that, and you should start to see the white light flashing, and that means it's in pairing mode. So now we'll hit connect. Got your little animation, a little bit of a rundown on how they work. We'll skip all that. You can set up Hey Siri. I'm gonna put not now. And it'll give you the battery percentages for the headphones themselves and the case. We'll hit done. And then you can actually come over here and you see it listed there, Beats Fit Pro. We're gonna hit information. And now you can change the mode that they're in. You can change the name. When you press and hold, this is the function button. When you press and hold, you can actually go in and you can change each one. So for the right one, I have it between, it's on noise control, so it's gonna shift between those two. You can click and add one or turn, you know, click one off, or you can put it onto Siri. So for my right one, I have noise control. For the left one, I have Siri. You can also put volume control. Automatic ear detection. So that's going to make it so when you put them into your ear and then you take them off, it's gonna pause and play music. You can set the connect to automatically. And then it just gives you a rundown on the information for these headphones themselves. Now I'll go over some specific features of these headphones. So these do have wing tips, which it says all day comfort and stability. I don't particularly agree with it. You have spatial audio, which I believe is more of a gimmick. Basically, when you have it activated, it keeps it so your head is tracked to your device. So if I have my phone over here on the left, it's going to sound like it's only coming from over here. And if I have my phone over on the right, it's gonna sound like it's on the right. These feature active noise canceling, which is a feature that makes it like putting on earmuffs, I would say. And you hear the music rather than your surroundings. These also have the transparency mode, which is very useful. Basically the opposite of active noise cancellation, lets you hear your surroundings more clearly. These are features that I wish they had on the Powerbeats Pro, which I have a review of on the channel. These have the Apple H1 chip, which makes it so automatic switching between devices, audio sharing, and it also has Hey Siri compatibility compatibility along with some optical sensors. As you can see right there, that black line is an optical sensor. These will make it so if you have it activated, when you take out an earbud, it's going to pause your music. When you put it back in, it's going to play your music. These are IPX4 rated, which means you can sweat and wear these in the rain, but don't swim in them. Has up to six hours of listening time on each bud. 
and 24 hours of combined with the charging case. These do have fast charge, so a five minute charge will give you 45 to a hour playback. Can be used with Find My in the iOS, but it will only show where they were last connected to the device. These aren't actively updating, showing you where they are. So speaking on the design of these headphones, they are sleek and barely noticeable when compared to the over the ear headphones, such as the Powerbeats Pro. Regarding the control on these headphones, you have a single function button this right here, right where that logo is. Pressing the button will pause or play your music or answer or hang up a phone call. Double click, it's gonna allow you to skip a song or a video. Three times, it's gonna go back a song or back a video. Also, you can map your own feature if you hold the button down. So for mine, if I hold this button down, it's going to enable or disable active noise cancellation for me. You could switch it between other ones. Like on my left one, I have it to activate Siri. On the right one, I have it to switch between active noise canceling and transparency mode. So for colorways, you have black, white, stone purple. As you can see, I have the sage gray. The cases also come in the colorway themselves. Kim Kardashian did a collab with Beats and she made the following colorways, moon, dune, and earth. Pricing on the official Beats website shows these at $199.99. It's a little out of my price range for a headphone of this nature. Also has a free engraving, if you wanna consider that free. I've seen these brand new on Amazon for $150. I've also seen these for only $100 for renewed. So what's my opinion on these? I've had these headphones for roughly a year now. I think I give a good insight into the bad and the good of these headphones. So what would be the bad? There's no wireless charging in the case. Much like I mentioned in my Powerbeats Pro review, these do not have wireless charging in the case itself, which is disappointing because you look at Apple AirPods and they have wireless charging and the case is pretty much about the same size as these. Downfall to the design of these headphones is that there is no volume rocker like the other pair of Powerbeats. So if you wanna turn up or down the volume, it's really not possible unless you take out your phone while you're doing your workout or whatever you're doing, that can be quite annoying. So I can only compare the active noise cancellation and transparency mode to the AirPod Maxes, which I do own. And I would say the transparency mode on these, it's pretty light. They had a feature where you could choose how loud you would like the noise of the environment around you compared to the transparency of the AirPods Max. They lack clarity and depth of your surrounding environment. Active noise cancellation is pretty decent and somewhat comparable to the AirPods Maxes. I'd say my biggest fault with these headphones would be that they are just downright uncomfortable after about wearing them for 15 minutes. The wingtips here hurt the inside of my ear and it's just not like the Powerbeats Pro where it can go around the ear. Prior to buying these, try to see if you can try them on. Still use it at the gym over the Powerbeats Pro due to the active noise canceling and transparency transparency modes. Another niche complaint I would say is that these use USB-C unlike every other headphone by Apple which uses the lightning cable. It's a small complaint but it is still there. So let's get into what is the good with these. Why should you buy these? Good in my opinion outweighs the negatives substantially. The case is perfect for throwing in your pocket and significantly smaller than Powerbeats Pro. The case charges the headphones and has a great battery life. I'll go off in two weeks without going and putting these on the charger and I'm off to the gym every night for an hour without having to put these on a charger. These headphones despite being uncomfortable, personally will not fall out of your ear no matter how hard you're shaking your head or whatever you're doing. Despite not having an ear hook, they fit snug and I've never had an issue with keeping these in. These connect instantly, pause music when you remove them, have an easy interface, especially in iOS. In conclusion, Beats Fit Pro is a decent pair of wireless earbuds that are perfect for those looking for pretty good bass with a secure fit and have that beat sleek stylish design. And my favorite features of these headphones, I would say that it would be the long battery life, which can last up to all week, coupled with the charging case itself. I typically don't charge these for about two weeks going to the gym every day. Uh, the major benefits is if you are part of the Apple ecosystem, these will best suit you. They're easily paired and have special features on iOS devices like animations. Overall, I believe the Beats for Pro are reliable and decent performing pair of earbuds that is best intended for exercising. If you're an Apple user who likes bigger base beats of pro are definitely worth considering my one suggestion is that you definitely try these on and have a good return policy from where you buy them so if they are uncomfortable you can return them are these worth it in 2023 I would totally say that the Beats Fit Pro are worth it in 2023. If you can get them for the price that I listed earlier, which is $150 or below for brand new, totally. If you're looking for a pair of headphones that are gonna do you well in the gym, that won't fall out of your ears while you're doing an intense workout, as compared to like AirPods or something like that, definitely give these a shot. My only real complaint is that they're uncomfortable for my ears particularly. So these are totally worth it in 2023. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, if you found it useful, helpful in your decision on buying these or not, please drop 
a like, comment what I should review next, and please subscribe, it means a lot.